Welcome to the Grizzled War Master. I'm Mike. I'm Doug. And today on our uh, getting started with miniature wargaming, we're going to get into the next chapter, carrying your stuff around. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you like us, you probably have like shelves of miniatures through your house. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have tons of these trays that we carry our armies in. Sure. Or um, if you're getting started, you're wondering, how do I move these things around? Yeah. How do I go to the store? <laughs> or to the game, you know, game store or a tournament or whatever. Exactly. And there's a ton of a ton of ways to carry your army around, and we're going to go over a few of them here um, and discuss them. Okay. So in the beginning, there was simple cases that were just basically different size plastic boxes right with foam yeah. in them right yep. like this one here so and this is a small one for obviously for like a squad i have a this is like for a kill team or you know uh i have a blood bowl army in it underworld right now. blood bowl something like you know something that uses just a very few miniatures right or if you for your D D game or your you know star wars game or something like that right now all of the cases we're going to show you pretty much have the same inside just a bunch of square cutouts for the miniatures, mm -hmm. some have bigger cutouts, some have pluck foams, you can yeah. determine the size or whatnot. But the, yeah, this is like your basic, your starter, what you have. And like I said, these type of cases, they came in different sizes. Yep, then the upgrade to that would be the crystal cast cube, which yeah. is just basically, it's just a cube that has a little bit more space. Yes. You yeah. Take it up. And a little tray inside for your dice and your yeah. brushes and whatever you need tape and then it just has uh, same thing foam <laughs> foam foam cases yeah um it is you know this the problem with this is the today's armies are much bigger yeah this would not again this would only be good for something relatively small squad based kind of games yeah uh, you could probably use this if you're into like uh, x-wing or um Titanicus maybe might be able to fit in something like this. Uh, yeah, but you're not going to be able to fit. As a mostly troop army. trays also might be good for uh, um, Song of Ice and Fire. You know, because yeah. this is most they're mostly all troops. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, and this is basically just four rows of troop trays here. Mm -hmm. um, now I don't even know does Crystal Cast still make these? Yeah, um, you, at least you can find them online. Okay. Uh, you know, um, variations of this i don't know that they're all necessarily made by crystal cast but yeah i think you can still get battle hive stuff these are called battle hive battle hive yeah um but yeah there are variations of this from different companies what's right. nice about this case one it's like i said it's a solid case you had a uh, strap on it so you could carry it over your shoulder mm -hmm. nice handle on it um wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea to you know you could use this as a carry-on or mm -hmm. and it's it's rugged enough that with an old metal army, you could check this. Yeah. And you'd be okay. You know, just put a little lock on. I think you can... Uh, no, this one doesn't actually one doesn't have, have lock. a lock thing. Uh, just tape it up. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and you should be fine. Exactly. Yeah, you can get this thing here. But, uh, yeah, so that's basically what they have. And then they went for a slightly bigger, because these are not quite square, but not quite long enough for to hold, like, the, uh -huh. you know, the trays. They went to a slightly bigger case, and that's the soft cases. Which you have the yep. Put those up here. Boom. Now this is the first one that's really like specifically for armies. Armies yeah. for like you know a GW. Uh, this one's made by. Um, Looks like Nerva it? with all this. <laughs> yeah. It's Army transport, which I think is made by Battlefoam, right? No, Battlefoam has or their is own. Their only yeah, the, the other Army one of this, the actually the name brand. Is battle is foam. battle foam. Yeah. No, there. Uh, when you get to the soft cases, battle foam makes pretty much all kinds of yeah. varying sizes. You can get ones that are like three feet tall. Yeah. And the new big thing, you know, this is same thing. It's got the. Uh, let's open it up here. It zips open. You've got the pluck foam cases. So you can make them. You know, this would be solid. You pick out the pieces to make them as big as you need for your miniatures. Yeah. It's got places for your dice and your books. Um, the nice new wave they're going, on and we'll sh be showing you a case that's like this, but Battle Foam does these. They do custom cut trays where yes. you tell them, I have this many of this type of army, you know, these troops for this army, and they cut the uh, foams to fit those exactly, yeah. and then you put the, you know, build the case, you put the case together. Yeah. If you're going to go with foam cases, Battle Foam is top of the line. Yeah. They're the ones that don't tell you exactly... You know, like Doug said, you can customize each and every tray in there. Yes. Um, because nowadays the standard uh, troop cutout in a tray doesn't match, doesn't fit anymore. Yeah. 
so. Okay, so Games Workshop uh, had their own cases for the miniatures yeah. for the longest time. And this was the standard case. Came in different colors, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, they came in black originally, and then they came in different colors later on. Sure, yeah. Um, and this you was... You see a lot of wear on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> had it for a long time. They have a ton of these. A yeah. whole garage full of them. And it basically held three of the standard trays that had, you know, it was Space Marine would fit in this. Pretty yes. much any regular troop would fit in this. Now, nowadays, now that they're going to Primaris Marines yeah. and all the bigger ones... And all the fancy models. They're, they're, they've yeah. come up with such cool new miniatures that they just don't fit anymore. And these yeah. cases are pretty much out. They're not useful anymore. You can't carry a whole army in them. Yeah. Um, they were made for metal, smaller metal miniatures that you just can't fit. Now, I mean, they will fit the regular size, like you said, Space Marines or yeah. Elves or... Uh, Any um, basic troops. But now the troops... Fire Warriors yeah, or whatever. So. Especially like Age of Sigmar stuff. Stuff is so yeah, you, thin. With all Now that they've gotten better with the CAD design of the miniatures, mm -hmm. they're a little more flimsy. And like, especially like Night Haunts. I can imagine trying to pack Night Haunts and yeah. foam and travel anywhere with them. Sure. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, why they have newer options well, now. Well, and then, yeah, they've just... This just isn't big enough to carry a regular size army. Right. Yeah, you... Um, which... But it was very durable, though. I mean, yeah. it's very durable. In fact... Um, this standard size, they made backpacks that, that fit these in them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they had, uh, like, three of these. If you go on a plane somewhere, three of these will fit in a tote, and you can zip tie the tote and check it, uh -huh. and your stuff will be relatively safe in here because there's a very, very durable case. Um, but with the size issue, and as things started escalating and getting bigger, um, GW came out with a larger size. Yep. Um, and this is basically... And strap it, it and is essentially it two of those together. <laughs> yeah, but with two of those together, they actually got a little more creative with the foam. So instead of just having uh, like troop foam, oh, it's a mystery. It's like Capone's vault. We don't know what we're opening here. Yeah. Haven't gotten some of these for a while. Oh, look, more goblins. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Need more goblins. Oh, oh, and old movement trays back when yeah, those are useless. Fantasy. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. so yeah, this one was I cut out, but um, you can see they had different size holes in the foam, right? So you could have, you know, for larger pieces, mm -hmm. not just your standard sizes. So you could put cavalry models cavalry in Cavalry models. Put, and, uh, yeah. The swarms of stuff, you know, they all fit in there. Um, this would actually still be relatively useful for, like, a goblin army or my Skaven army is out there someplace in a case this big. So yeah. um, it will fit your basic troops for your army. And uh, now they do make these now where half the foam, one side of it is just large pluck foam for like tanks or right, large yeah. things. Um, but before they actually started putting them in these, they came out with a, what they call the monster case. The monster case. The monster case. Boom. And this is actually pretty cool. I use, I, I, I'm using this one. It is all pluck foam, which you pull out and I actually use for cushioning later <laughs> that you can put. Your bigger models in. We're missing the second half of this. There's foam in this half too. Yeah. So basically, Such you put as large monsters in the other side. Skaven Bell, or no, the uh, Plague Furnace. So you can put you put your bigger like monstrous models like dragons and uh, war engines and stuff like that. You pluck out what you want, and you just slip it in here, and then theoretically that would be enough. But I like the extra padding. That's why I throw all of the pluck foam back on top of it. To yeah. It. Especially if you've got like some of the little. Uh, fiddly pieces like that one's got the yeah. bell. That's when I first started getting into some of the crazier models and stuff like that. Now, yeah. sadly, <laughs> this used to be back in the day, you used to do it because this will fit probably four to six large models in this. Right, yeah. Um, tanks or monsters or whatever. Um, but today's armies have a lot more and they've gotten a lot bigger with some of their stuff. Yeah, models are all generally bigger. Yeah, like They're a Grand Unclean would take fancy. up like half of this basically or maybe something small with it. Sure. On that side. Um, and a lot of them now have way more detail that you don't want to scrape in and out of foam. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, it makes it a little rough. But still, um, this is a nice trade just because they have the deep pluck foam Yeah. Um, that you can get. So, awesome. What else we have here? What's up? Well, that leads us to our last one. Oh, yeah. All right. 
through the magic of editing. <laughs> Got this monstrosity in here. Yeah. Uh, now, yeah, today's, you know, foam, not good with some of the today's models, especially some of the, you know, the like a Night Hunt Army or stuff like that. Sure, yeah. uh, You know, with all the little fiddly bits on it. So now, the new tech right now is magnetized cases. Yes. So, which could work as combination display cases and for travel. Now, yeah. on travel note, still, I don't know if I would, you know, check something like this. I would not fly with something like this. Yeah. Um, the magnets are strong, but not probably that strong. Right. Um, Especially if you ever saw what a baggage handler handle bags. At the yeah. airport. <laughs> One, I don't let I don't think they're gonna let you carry on something like this, not with yeah. the amount of metal in it, not with the sharp pieces and the magnets and the tin and stuff like that. It's probably not gonna be a go to check uh, to carry on. Right. And checking it probably kind of dangerous. You're, yeah. you're not gonna hold it. I mean, the cool thing is it's got you this, these things lock, so you can lock up your case. So if you're going to like I'm going to the LVO. Yeah. Uh, Las Vegas Open, and a lot of the times you'll get like a lunch break or something, and most people will just, you know, leave their army at the table they played at, maybe for display purposes or whatever. Yeah. You could actually then lock this up, and you could feel relatively safe that your army, unless somebody goes and just grabs your whole case and leaves, right. which most gamers are not going to do that. Right. Um, you're, you're safe there. Um, display glass. Uh, Battle Foam makes a magnetic case, but it's a zip-up soft case like we just saw earlier. Yeah. Just replace the foam. What, what brand is this? This is, um, this is Table War. Table War. Now, the cool thing with theirs is these trays pull out, and you can then get to your army to, you know, like set it up or whatever. Um, so th that's a really nice feature of it. It's... They call it a display case, but as you could see with that glass panel, you really don't get a great look at it unless you just lean down and, you know, kind of get up right on the glass. Right. Now, um, as a kind of a brief, this is what me and Doug use now for armies, especially now with Age of Sigmar and all the, mm -hmm. you know, the... Uh, you actually can open the top, too. Yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, easier access. So you set this on the ground at a tournament, and yeah. you can just get your, pull your army right out. No longer, like, dig through foam. Right. And plucking them all out. So, Yeah. So we magnetize all our armies now, and we put them in these uh, these kind of cases. But for traveling, I still don't know exactly what I would do for plane travel. Driving, with you're fine with yeah. this. Um, plane travel, you're probably the battle foam custom cut is probably the That's best, your best bet. for um, flying. Yeah. That's the you know, just be prepared to things that have the real fiddly bits. You're going to have to do some repair work most likely when you get there. Yeah. But this thing is great. Um, there's a and a bit of a review for this. Doug's actually going to take it to his first tournament, the OBO, yeah. um, next week. So well, you can give us a rundown on how well it works. Yeah. Um, so far, it you know gaming here makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Transporting your army and setting it up and taking tearing it down. Um, stuff dies. You just put it right back on the. Yep. On the tray, everything's organized. Makes it easy to repack your army, especially yeah. in those tournaments where they only give you 15 minutes to move between. Yeah, uh, your your battles. It's it's really handy. Now I would um, have one <laughs> issue with this case so far. Well, one Doug didn't opt for the uh, the uh, drink handles on the side, yeah, the drink holders. There are spots right here to <laughs> mount a drink holder that folds down, so you can just <laughs> set your soda or something there. Um, one, it doesn't have a shoulder strap. But, I mean, you can easily put one on here. It's got the rings on the side here uh, for locks. I but, would, if I were going to a tournament where I was worried about carrying it around or if I had a heavy army that still had a lot of metal components, you can get those, um, they're essentially wheeled luggage things, oh, yeah. except they're just the back and the and the bottom, and then you just tether strap whatever this you on here, yeah. strap that on. Then you've got wheels for it. Yeah. Um, that'd, be, yeah, that'd be great, because it's yeah. perfect size for that. It gets a little heavy, well, there's a big discrepancy, like my mostly metal army is a lot heavier than Doug's all plastic army. Yes, but, correct. Um, the one drawback with this thing here is the case comes with four trays and... The, uh, and the a, black part here. Yeah, the black part tray. It does not come with the metal <laughs> It inserts. does not come with the metal inserts. You have to buy those separate. Uh, and you can't just buy a metal insert for the tray. The whole design behind this, and this is War... What is it? Uh, Table War. Table War. Mm -hmm. Table War, the big thing is they have a lot of custom trays, mm -hmm. right? So they have different size trays. 
They have the different rings cut out so you can do like display boards and mm -hmm. for like, you know, movement trays and stuff like that. Not something we really need, especially Age of Sigmar. You know, nowadays there's no movement trays or anything we need. Yeah. So um, we ordered uh, some of them because you actually need... Um, there's three spots. Three spots for different trays and you can like... And they sell them in singles and doubles. Yeah. So, so you need a double and a single in order to fill yeah. up one of these trays. So we actually just went and bought sheets of... Tin. Tin. Yeah. Cut them down and then glued them in here. Yeah. Because uh, we'll never use them for anything <laughs> other than a magnet, magnetized base. We don't need the modularity of the right. Of the stuff. So like but one, be aware of that. One double tray on here would be around about eight bucks. Um, yeah, that's about eight so. bucks. Uh, no, they're yeah, maybe. Well, yeah, something around that. They're like eight, eight to, bucks eight to and then dollars, I don't eight know. to twelve dollars, and it's five to eight for a single. Yeah. one of these trays, and that's without the little insert toppers, which you don't need either. And that's on top of you're paying 180 for it already. Yeah. So these are an investment. Um, yeah, more expensive than, than yeah. all the other ones. Now the the tin, enough uh, enough of tin to cover eight was eight bucks for mm -hmm. to f to fill in eight trays. Yeah. So for the price two of one, two cases <laughs> worth, we yeah we bought eight bucks yeah. worth of ten. You cut just have down. to have somebody who can cut it for you. Yeah, it's got a grinder or something like that. Yeah, something something you can cut it with. But yeah, otherwise it works well. Tin the cool thing is, curl, but they actually sell these tracks the that are on the side, yeah. so you could set up in your your room, mm, yeah. your man cave, your garage, wherever you can set up these rails, buy extra of these the sliding trays here yeah and you could switch out armies between one case and just have the armies have their own trays mm -hmm. and go ah, i can carry four you know i can just the army i'm playing this week i take these out put them on the yeah. display case you know on the display and then load the other one up in the case and you're ready and then them. you have your army displayed in your in your room yeah and you just go through and okay i need this 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 pull them out and I slide them right in here yeah and that way you only need to buy one case you know and then just a couple rails and the mm -hmm. You know the, the cheaper parts and yeah. just you know some tin boom you got a place to store your, your uh, miniatures now this is pretty much the go-to now for us um but there, like i said there are other options too if you can't afford like you know i mean this is quite a bit well and depending on yeah one last thing before we go to the other options um depending on your game this may be overkill so just be aware that um Battle foam and the other place table table war to a degree, and the other places that have cases have them of all varying sizes. Yeah, this is a large one for yeah. this, this is was you know. specific. We got it for big armies yeah. that we knew had bigger models, so we could space out. That's the great thing about this rail system; you can space out how the shelves are, so you can accommodate different size models. Right. But if you're on a budget, people take just about anything to transport their army. <laughs> Um, we have people at our local game store who will just take a clear plastic tote that you would use to pack stuff away in the garage yeah. and they just throw their army in there and they're fine with that. And there are people, you can find videos online of people making carrying cases out of things like that. You take a clear plastic tote, you glue down some tin in the bottom of it and magnetize your models and you just throw them in there and there you go. If you're only yeah. going to your local game store, works just fine. Yeah. And like I said, if you're only going to your local game store and you've got your miniatures um, that are painted and you've got them clear coated and everything else, so they're mm. you know not going to like chip very easily, you can build a cheap case out of you know cardboard boxes and hot glue. Yeah, I mean true. you can just like hot glue down the individual spaces for your miniatures, whatever size you need, and then just carry them that way. If you're going to carry them on a tray, uh, you know to keep them from sliding around. If you have like an all plastic army, uh, Doug used to use um, like they for like the the drawer insert, yeah, the rubber. yeah, the rubber inserts that you'd put in like your kitchen drawers. Yeah, you know they have the stuff that you just roll out and it's, it looks like a grid. Of, yeah, like it's kind of like rubbery type stuff. That kept my miniatures from sliding around on it. Yeah, yeah you it just was set the on needed. that, and then all you yeah, put it in the backseat of the car, drive to the game store, and you're yeah. good to go. It was fine. Um, but yeah, this is for like you had to do any 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 kind of traveling for games. Um, yeah, you know if you want to protect them while you're there. I mean. You know, if you don't want to leave your stuff in like a you know cardboard box at the game store, yeah. I mean the bottom line is whatever you need to transport your army, go ahead. People use all kinds of things. You don't need to spend one hundred eighty dollars in a case. If you do, these are really nice. 
But like I said, you can do that. And we used to go, we used to get the our own foam. Yeah, the further you're going to go, the more I would invest in a case. Yes. That's that's the rule here. Because um, if you're dropping that kind of money on an army and you're painting it up, you're, taking, yes. you're spending it, investing the time to paint yep. an army. Um, you just grab rare earth magnets, glue them into the bottom, get some tin, boom. Yeah. They're secure and you can take them someplace without worrying about... I'll do a video later about glue, about doing a magnets after magnetizing two armies yeah, with this. Yeah. There's a there's a little... <laughs> a few little things you got to worry about mm -hmm. when from different size bases what you need to do to the bases to glue the magnets in because yeah. the magnets aren't quite thick enough. Depending on what size magnets you buy, but if you buy the most cost effective... Yeah, most cost effective magnet. you need to do. Yeah. Takes that a little take, effort. But... takes a little more effort but it's, you know, save you a lot of money and... Uh, you know, it works great. So, as you can tell, it's, it fits all in here. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there's, like I said, we used to get our own foam. You go to the fabric store, and they have the, the foam in different sizes. Mm -hmm. And we'd carve out, especially when they started doing, like, the, before they had the monster case. And we had some big pieces, yeah. you know. We would uh, buy the foam and Yeah, they had the, cut the, out like, the egg crate-like foam that yeah. just has little ridges and stuff. You could just lay a miniature down in there. Yeah. It all depends on what you're what you're looking for, how fiddly the, the, the miniature is. Like again, I haven't tried it with like night haunts or anything else. Yeah. I would probably stick with magnetizing, even if it was just not the expensive case, but like anything, any kind of plastic case with the uh, tin still in it. Still magnetize the bases and magnetize them to tin to keep them from yeah from breaking. From breaking, yeah. yeah. They are pretty <laughs> fiddly models. I mean, they're awesome looking. Yeah. But they were not thinking about transportation when they. When they design those models. Right. Or if you have like a showcase piece like, you know, Nagash or, you know, Illyrio, the, you know, Ever Queen or whatever, mm -hmm. something like that, um, you know, that that's not going to be packed in foam. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to be able to put that in any kind of foam. Um, but here you can adjust the height, although Illyrio would probably take up half this case. Yeah. Just for height wise. Yeah. Magnetizer to the beetle. Do yourself yes. a favor. Yeah. Magnetizer <laughs> to the beetle so you can take her off. <laughs> uh, those rivers magnets work wonders, especially for stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you have folks, the different kind of cases you can have um, for your army. So people, you know, asking, how do you get your army, transport your big army around? Yeah. Uh, right now I'm working on putting my goblins together because the new book came out. So mm -hmm. I'm looking at what? Whether or not they'll fit on 220 goblins. <laughs> Uh, and just be watching out uh, in the next little while. I will be putting out some, probably some Instagram photos, some tweets, um, hopefully making a couple of videos from the Las Vegas Open, demonstrating the case and just the general goodness from uh, all of the Warhammer stuff that will be going on there. Yep. I mean, there's a lot of other games, but that's what I'm involved in. So that's... You know, right. I might... Truck around and see what other games are playing, and yeah. you know, depending on get some how much time through. they have, we'll see, what, <laughs> we'll see what I can get. So you should look for that next week sometime, guys. Okay. All right, thank you very much. We really appreciate you going on this journey, getting back into wargaming here. Um, like I said, we uh, kind of focusing all this on beginners. Yeah, you know, people that don't know, like, oh, what do I, how do I carry an army around? What do I play yeah. on? All this kind of thing. So we'll be looking, um, taking a look, in depth look at terrain later. Um, and I'm going to start putting out some terrain building videos. Cool. So to go along with my paint vlogs that I've been doing. So. Yeah, there you go. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, get the word out, let people know that we have a game channel out here. We're going to be um, teaming up with Telltale Noob, do some battle reports soon. Yes. So look, yeah. for, look for those. Um, those guys are great. Also, if you're into our general nerd news or reaction videos, please check out our other geek channel, uh, The Grizzled Geek. Yes. Uh, there's a link down below. Um, and thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.